What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. And every other day I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. Okay, today we are playing game eight. In our Novice to Grandmaster Rank Up series, we are doing six-player progressive on unfiltered lobbies on a variety of maps. Settings for this game are uh, World Domination on Russia 2010, Auto Setup 60 Second Turns Expert AI, Progressive Cards Balance Blitz Dice, No Filtering of Rank, No Elias, No Fog, No Blizzard. I'm in the fourth position. Let me just move myself so I'm not blocking the map. In. in the first position, we have General Rogue, 4875, flying the flag of Canada, with 49 hours played, 23 wins, and 62 losses. They have a concentration in the Southern bonus. Obviously, they would take that. In position two, we have Orly the Snake, 20, flying the flag of US of A, 77 hours played, 34 wins, and 182 losses. They look like they're more concentrated in the East. In position three, we have Augustine Hurricane 7 from Spain, 268 hours played, 78 wins, and 340 losses. In position four, we have myself. This is the rank of the count. Uh, flying the rainbow flag of the Seychelles, Chiquita Grinface, with four hours played, seven wins, and zero losses. We're going for 8 0 today. In position five, we have Gibson the Noble from Austria with. 35 hours played, 3 wins, and 35 losses. Okay, 10%, less than 10% win rate. And finally, rounding it out from Costa Rica, Ruben Odman, 18. 78 hours played with 56 wins and 133 losses. All right. A couple of players. Ooh, I lose a 7v3 right away. That is shitty. I have occupation in the east. I have occupation in the west. I have occupation in the center. This guy hit a 3 stack on turn 1. Starting with four troops, because I'm in the fourth position, I'm ideally going to want every spot to survive. So, I'm going right now for the four position play. Just making sure I'm not in any certain spot that purple would like. No. So let's go like this. Let's move into one of the middle bonuses. Or at least threaten to take. So I have a five in the... West, I have a four in the east, and I'm going to consolidate in the middle. We'll go for a three position play. And let's take a quick look at the bonuses. So you have central, which is a four for five. The area around Moscow, you have southern, which is one, two, three, four, five, six for four. Volga worth six, north, western worth six. The Urals is a five for six. Siberian is worth seven, and the far east is worth plus four. If you can hold this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for four. I am trying to be in three positions. We're playing progressive. You don't terribly want to worry about the bonuses or holding them. It looks like the black player is going to be trying to take Siberia, so I'm going to want to move this way. So we're going to try and link up these two positions. So it'll be one, two, three. I'll have a west, a middle, and an east if possible. Let's see what purple does. Uh, purpose of this series is to see how fast I can rank up to Grandmaster. Playing six player progressive unfiltered. Purple doesn't do anything too scary to me yet. Okay, so how does this game go? Yellow's going to go for this. Red's going to go for this. Black's going to go for this. Blue isn't anywhere. They might be here. And I don't yet know what purple wants. Yeah. Okay, red will take this bonus. They're guarding it decently strong. Purple can invade. These two territories connect to that one. But that's a great setup for red. So the way you counter a very early plus four bonus, and he's guarding. Good. Okay, the way you counter it is you remove the exterior positions. Because it's progressive, you're going to want to make kills in the mid to late game. And these kills start to become worth a whole heck of a lot more than the bonuses. Okay. 
Okay, I'll be out in a sec. I'm, I'm making a show. Seven is confirmed. It's okay. It says dress warmly, it's going to be a cold one. <laughs> Black is chirping yellow, saying that, yeah, as predicted. Okay, so yellow's going to go for the far east. I'm going to want to get out of there, so i got to get my four out of there. I get my four out. I'm going to cut across the top here, I think, because otherwise I'm going to lose it. So I won't have a position in the east. Yellow's going to take this. And black's going to work on this. Yeah, so I have to go here. I also have to get this out of there, but I think that's a slower plan. Because yellow is only two away. So my take next turn is going to be... What is this island? Severnaya? I don't remember. What's it called? New Ground. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll, and we'll work to move these two together on the next turn. Blue adding troops, they're probably a mistake. Yellow has shown their intention. Taking the far eastern bonus. Blue's playing well, though. They're in a, in a bunch of distributed positions. If I can steal the Ural bonus, that would be fine, too. Oh, they make multiple attacks, and they remove yellow from this side of the board. Cool. They're going to hit that, too. No, they stop. They fortify where? This three down? Or this three out? Ah, okay. Blue has set up a wall. What does purple do about that? So yellow is here, black is here, red is here, blue is here, and purple is in in this position. I wouldn't have chosen to evacuate the east, but for the fact that yellow is telegraphing their play, and I don't want to lose this stack, so I moved it. Ideally, I would want to be positioning on this map. I would want to be in the in in all three spots, right, on either ends and in the middle. But I'm, I'm consolidating a bit more to the middle because I don't want to just lose my troops. Okay. That's good. At least that lets me consolidate here. No, it doesn't. He blocks. Okay. What do I do about this? I still have that territory. I could add to it. Red's going to expand out of there. Bonus which way? I think this way makes sense, or that way makes sense. Because that doesn't give them additional uh, fronts to guard. Or they get to take exterior off that four. Yeah, they hit there. Okay. And then work to link those two positions on the next turn. Yeah, Red's playing very well. They got gifted a bonus. The only downside is they don't really have access to the rest of the boards. They won't. It won't be super easy to make kills in the late game. I don't think I move from up here. I think this territory is key. Because it links across the top. This is the nexus of this board. As expected, yellow finishes their bonus. The rolls 3v1s, which aren't 100%. Rolls 2v1s, which is even worse odds. Yeah, your odds are shit. Oh yeah, poor you. Take it. Just take it. Right. And now we'll get to see if black breaks. My guess is no, but you never know, because yellow really only has one way to go, and that's into black. No. Black is going to work on their own bonus. Good neighbors. You're, I, I've really been seeing a lot more good neighbors. 
since I came around. Okay, so I don't add here because black wants it. Add one troop there. I'm going to add the other on this territory, which I think is very important to stay on. Yellow's going to have only one way to go, and I think they're going to hit black. And that'll piss off black, and then we'll have a war here, which is what I want. I want these two uh, players to fight amongst themselves. Blue, I don't know what the fuck blue is doing, but being haphazard like that and unpredictable is a good thing. Blue will probably um, make it to second or third in this game. I, I would say that the two players holding bonuses um, won't because they will be consolidated. They will be easier to kill when the time is right. I'm in the fourth position, so I get um, the 10 match, right? Progressive cards 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 15, and then up by 5. Does black. Okay, so purple is here. I don't know what purple's doing either. So I got two out of my five opponents playing unpredictably. The other three are playing for bonuses. Okay. Purple evacuates the stack. No. They want black to hit it too. Alright, red can, can link up there. So I'm in three positions. I got uh, two, six, and a five. I would like to see these two come together, but I'm not in a spot where I'm, I'm ready to roll a three, and I just as soon lose this to black, um, then add to it, because then I would be at risk of losing even more. Yeah, it's an, that take was obvious. Okay, so red has only one exterior position, yellow has none. And black still has these two. What's going to happen on yellow's turn? Does yellow go this way? I think that's their only reasonable take, right? They don't roll my six. Maybe they do. That would be fucked. But what are they getting? They're getting plus four, five, six, seven. So you put seven on the two is nine v six. If if they roll nine v six, um, then my game is in a lot more trouble. But stands to reason they would hit the five over the six. Also stands to reason they would hit the two over either. Also, these two connect, so they can cut underneath black if they see that line. Let's see which one they choose. Deep in thought. Yep, yeah, they're going to hit black. The lane of least resistance is across the bottom. Oh, they're going to hit black here from the four. Yep, that works. 6v2 is 100% odds. They're going to guard up here too. 6v2? 5v2. Yeah, yellow likes to roll less than 100% odds and then move the 6 out. Okay, so black has to deal with that. Black's in trouble. They're, they're getting the squeeze. Yeah, obviously they don't like that. I don't know what you were thinking, black. There was nowhere for you to go. You have to break yellow. The easy way to do it is this way. They do it the expensive way, so now we see a war. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. Good. Fight. Fight, 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 fight. Yep, yellow is down to 16 troops, holding four cards. So what's going to happen between these two is one of them is going to have a set and they're going to trade it in and they're going to hit the other guy, but they're not going to finish. And that's going to leave them lined up for me to make the kill. The problem is I need to get a take right now and I can't do it without hitting either of these players. So I have to hit black, but I'm going to really line myself up to kill yellow. Either way, I'm in an okay spot. I'm happy with this turn. I still would like to link these two positions together. 25 troops for me. Red is in the lead at 33. Blue has a bunch of distributed position in the middle. 
Same with purple. They have a mess. Blue's going to take me here. That's fine. Red's looking real good. No one's going to break red. Um, but he's going to expand slowly because he's guarding. Okay, I'm now in three places. Losing that single stack that I've had since the beginning of the game. All right. And purple is... I can't predict what purple's going to do. I don't have a clue. Probably more in here. Would be my guess. Add here? Yeah. Just get an easy take on black. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, purple's blocking the middle of the board. Black's not going to like this. So black and yellow are both super weak at 16 and 17 each, holding four cards. Okay, where does red get their take? They get their take up here? No, they roll 7v2, get their take there. Red's going to add to their exterior position. Not super exterior at this point. Cool. I'm liking how this game is going. They roll 4v2. 4v2 odds are bad. 8v3 is 100%. 7v3 is 100%, right? So you want to... I, I would think that would be the move um, for red so that they don't expand the number of fronts they have to guard if you were playing it correct. All right. So yellow, if they have a match, is going to hit black hard. If they don't, what do they do? I think they add to their 8 and they go 1 of the two ways. They either hit here and lock black inside of them, or they hit here and pull back to here. Or they do a third thing that doesn't make any sense at all. If I was yellow, what I would do in this situation is I would add uh, two of my three troops here, the other one there, and I would move the eight that way. So I would be here, here, and here. But they are... I think they bought it instead. Okay, so we'll have an AI, which means the AI is likely going to set in now. Yeah. So uh, yellow has now bought it out. They get the four match. But they don't get a card because they ran out of time. Yeah, they almost got a card. Okay. Uh, black. Can flank yellow. This will be very dangerous for black because now black is inside a bot continent. I will get my fifth card here. Two five stacks, an eight and a six, holding five. I'm still set up to get the ten. Let's see what blue does. Blue gets an easy take on me or purple. That's fine. They open up my eight again. Black's holding five cards. Got 19 troops. Red in the lead at 39. Red will get the six. What do they do? I haven't pissed off red yet, but now I'm thinking I want to get this five away and move through purple's three. Good. Purple gives me the opportunity. Okay, so these stacks I will consolidate on my next turn. And I'll be in three true positions with a great line to strike at the east. Red matches gets the six. They also hold four from their bonus from the first turn. Start to think about who's the fish now. Okay, they hit the three. Don't add to the number of fronts they have to guard. Yeah. Saw that one coming. 
Yellow bot already matched in, so they're just going to get an easy take somewhere on this bonus. Black's going to set in, get the 8. Punch this guy out of it a bit. Purple's being a predator, just like me. I'm going to add equal troops to all three of my positions. Yeah, Black sets in, gets the 8. All in that end. If they hit yellow really hard, I might be able to kill yellow, but it would only be two cards. Should be three, but the bot didn't get a card. Hit the six. No. Okay, good. This is good. Black's going to get fucked by the bot at some point. That's my prediction. Okay, so here's what I do. I'm putting in 13 troops. So we got four. We got four. And we got five. Perfect. Perfect turn. I have three equal positions. Two elevens and a twelve. Blue sets in, gets the twelve match. Do I have a set on three? I do not. Right. Blue sets in with the twelve. Tick tock. They don't realize they're forced to trade on 5. Now they do. Now they're looking at their cards. They trade in the 12. Blue is in pretty much one position in the middle of the board, but they're nice and strong. They haven't lost any troops, really. They are very, very slow, though. If they spend all their turn and draft, they won't even get a card. 17v1. Is that the hit? They get a single hit, and their clock is done. Uh, purple sets in, gets the 15. He puts it where? Let's see if my opponents hit yellow hard enough that I can kill them on, on my next turn. They put in there. Ooh. I like it. Okay. Purple's nicely cocked up to deal with what happens in the east as well. Me and Purple playing it like the Predators. Trying to eat black and yellow here. Red players 57 troops from holding this plus four all game. They get an easy take on purple. And now I'm on their border, so I'm going to want to move that. I don't want to be threatening to red. You move it all forward. You don't need to split. If they split, that's a mistake. Yellow bot gets an easy take on black. 27 troops holding three cards. Let's see if black hits them hard enough. That maybe they're worth killing. All right, the game is about to go nuclear. Yes, black sets in. They're going to kill yellow. If they fail, I will easily be able to sweep that up. Okay. I 
think they kill all of yellow. No, they just hit a four. Ooh, living real dangerously, Black. Okay, Black's in a single strong position, 36 stack. In the Kamchatka Peninsula, I can't actually kill yellow. It would be very, I could, but it would be very, very risky. So given that, I'm going to get an easy take on red. Move away from red's border so I, they don't feel threatened. I'm still in three positions, and I'm still lined up to kill the yellow bot. As long as they don't set in on three. No set on four is bad. This is quite bad for me. Someone could eat me for my cards. No one has made a kill yet, though. Okay, blue gets an easy take on purple. Blue playing very haphazard. They don't seem to know what they want or what to do. They're moving their stack across the board. Do they continue? This is a block. This leaves my stack unable to access yellow. This is doubly bad. Do they move it back? Do they move it forward? Don't sit there. That fucks me. Move. Move your stack. Ah, that's bad. And I don't have a set. Yeah, they tried to move. They didn't have time. All right. Blue doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Okay. Um, purple does what? Purple can kill yellow. But they don't appear to be doing so. They're going to consolidate in a single position here. They're going to move that there. Aren't they? Yes. Cool. Okay. Everyone but blue I can pretty much predict now. What does red do? Does red send in on four? Yes. They get 25 troops. I haven't pissed them off yet, but there will soon come a time where this position ceases to exist. Red will want to push their advantage. What I think I want to do on my turn is I want to get this 10 here, and I want to move that stack there. Oh god, that's so many fucking troops. I might just lose this. If I lose this, then I get eaten from my cards on the next turn. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Yeah, I lose that. I lose this game. In this situation, I would have tried to eat yellow, but I don't have the troops. Okay, yellow bot match and gets the 30. Oh, God, do I lose this 15, too? 23 rolls 15? Please do not. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yes, okay, fuck, man. This is so difficult. How do I not die? If I had set on four, I'd survive, but I don't, so I think I get eaten. Black is thinking about what to do. Get an easy take on yellow. Now what happens? I need to hope and pray that I don't get eliminated. I'm trying to find the spot on the board that nobody is. Nobody's here. Nobody cares about this. So I move out of the way. I don't want to sit next to the bot's border just in case that bot decides to roll my stack. I'm holding five cards. Blue matches and gets the 35. Blue could kill me now. But they invade red. Cool. I still have a chance. I think I lose this game, but as long as nobody kills me, I will set in 
and then I'll be able to make a kill on my next turn. Okay, blue, blue sets in hurts red really hard. It's going to equalize blue and red. I need to make a kill on my turn. Don't think anyone's worth it though. At least I've stayed out of war. Red won't be able to meaningfully retaliate to this because they don't have cards. So blue just equalized themselves and red around 55 troops. Purple can kill me. Do they? I think they do. I think I die. They're not moving fast enough. They should kill me. Yep. Okay, there we go. I die. Good. That's it. That's the game. I die first. And I'm dead. That is the first loss on this account. Not having a set on four, losing my one of my um, three positions in the late game, having that happen simultaneously. That is how you lose these games. If anyone had, if anyone has advice on what I could have done differently, I am open-minded to it. I don't think I made any obvious mistakes to me. I think I was able to predict mostly what everyone was doing. Um, but yeah, can't control not having a set. So there you go. first loss. Now let's see what happens. I don't usually get a lot out of shooting these videos after I die because watching my opponents play very slowly and badly isn't particularly interesting to me, but we'll see if we can get some value out of this game for a little bit longer at least. Red breaks blue, no surprise there. Purple wins this game for sure now. Now they're just going to eat players in sequence. Blue should kill red. Uh, blue should kill ye or black rather. Doesn't quite have the troops to kill yellow. Yeah, purple kills everybody. The six. Blue player at war with red. So what's the order? Purple's going to set in, kill black, kill yellow, and then blue and red. Blue and red get second and third. Poke the bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blue plays super haphazard. 
no real rhyme or reason to their moves, other than being a bad neighbor that one turn. And it shows in that record. Purple played well, though. Let's see, is that a good record? It's reasonably good. They are learning. Yeah. Uh, purple's going to kill red. And blue. I guess they can get both if they move a bit faster. Yeah, they're going to get red first. No. You don't have the clock to kill blue. You do have the clock to kill red. I see. I see the path. They're going to think that these two connect and they don't. But they'll have time to move through the six. Yep. And kill red. Red dies. Goes to show getting those early bonuses in progressive don't really pay off, particularly when you guard. If you have someone um, that comes at you at that moment when they feel strong, when they have a set that negates all of the benefit that you've accrued, the only way you get uh, value off of holding bonuses in the early game is by not guarding and uh, and using threat stacks instead. Yellowbot uh, has three cards now, fifty four. Black sets and gets the 55. I think they kill yellow right now. Yeah, yellow's dying. They do it in a way that they don't have their stack open to make a second kill. Top three players are black, blue, and purple. Purple's going to win this game. They're going to eat blue, unless blue trades right now. At least this game is ending. Blue gives them a well played. They lock their troops on Suck Island. No, they move their troops out. From Sakailin. Okay. Uh, blue player has to have a set on three or their food. Their food. Uh, purple kills blue and then kills black and wins the game that way. And there you have it. Purple kills every player but yellow. No set on four will get you every time. Okay. Purple sets in, eats blue, trades in turn, and starts punching black. Yeah. Gotta go faster. It's the 12 and splits. Nope, fucked up. They die. Oops. Yeah, they can still do it. They don't actually have to split there because these two territories connect. it right to the wire on that clock. Oh, they're going to run out of time. They're going to run out of time. They ran out of time. Oh, just in, just in a brief second. Okay, purple does win. Purple has 222 troops to blacks. 63. They remove black from the west. They hit the stack. Yeah.
break the bonus. Try to fortify and fail to do so. Okay, so black needs a set right now. They have it. Can they move faster than purple? Eighty to one fifty three. So Pearl has a two to one troop advantage, and they're holding four cards. So they're likely to set in again. Uh, let's see if Black opens either of their positions. Right now he's breaking bonuses. Doesn't open it the eighty five. I think he does open the twenty. But he hits it, right? You hit the 20. Oh, he's going to leave it. He's going to leave the bonus. Okay. Now that 53 is trapped. Purple sets in. And can then just run the road back. No set on 4? Really? Okay. So now what purple needs to do is they need to not open. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. This game has the potential to stalemate now and go on for a very long time because both of these guys are super slow. So this might be where I end the video. I have absolutely zero patience to watch slow players fail to kill each other over and over and over in the late game in progressive. Turn off your camera animation so you can move faster. Purple wins eventually. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, today will be um, your last good day to sign up for the free for all risk discord tournament. Um, Signups close on Sunday. So if you are curious to compete and see where you stack up against some of the best Risk players in the world, we would love to have you. It, it was a ton of fun for me. I'm so excited about this season. I wish all of you who are competing lots of luck. Um, even if you're on the fence, just sign up. Why not? See how you do. It'll be, be tons of fun. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Got to lose some time, right? I um, hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.